Now, a traditional violet, you would have three more of those around the bottom because it's got two and then three petals at the bottom, but we're doing kind of modified version. <laughs> it's a ribbon flower. It's a fantasy anyway. So all these are kind of fantasy, not realistic, which is actually kind of a relief that you don't have to be like gum paste flowers and have them, you know, botanically correct and all that. This is a lot more fun. Okay. And we just need one of these bigger circles. Okay. So now I need a bigger circle. Let's see, I got these over here. So this is the next size up in my circle cutter set. And this is just to make the bottom piece. Okay, so flip it over. Seal it closed with the little water. Fold it over. Again, kind of stretch that. Don't damage that nice fold. And this one you're going to kind of pleat three times. So you got one tuck, another tuck, and another tuck. And then bring those ends in. It looks almost the same. Okay. And we want that kind of wider which is why we did the bigger petal. A little bit of water, and we're going to join it here to make a violet. Okay, and then I'm going to add two yellow, little yellow fondant dots to that. Okay. But I did them little itty bitty, so I did them using these two cutters originally. And I'll show you what they look like. Again, I gotta hide them in here because they fade. But see, they're little itty bitty guys. Aren't they cute? <laughs> so I see the big one, and there's the little one. And just add two ye yellow dots to it. Everyone okay with that? Yes, they are. Are they all electronically nodding their heads <laughs> at their computer, going, uh huh, uh huh? <laughs> Sounds like they are. <laughs> okay. So again, when I normally do that, I use this as a three quarters, and this is a, you can do any size you want and one and a quarter. Well, that's what I normally use for those. But you can use any size. Again, these are not, you know, something that have to be, they have to be. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do another flower here. This fantasy flower is kind of like a, um, kind of like a lily, but not really. And it's going to use the square cutters. And again, you don't have to have these. You can actually just measure it out, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to use the bigger one. This is a, what is this? This is a, a two, two inch square, a little about two and an eighth inch. And I'm going to need six of these. Okay. But I'm just going to do, I actually have it already done up part way. So I'm just going to do a couple of them for you here. A little dry. Okay, so I cut them out and we're going to fold them in half. Don't forget to flip them over until we get to the, be the wrong side is facing you and fold them in half. Again, w don't injure that folded edge. We want to thin it out. Okay, and then you're going to fold it in half again. So you get a nice folded edge here, okay? So I'm just running my hand along there to get it nice and thin. This is why it's really important to get it thin on the, on the pasta machine or when you roll it out because this can get really thick. If you start with something thick, it's really going to be thick. Okay, so at this point I've got two triangles and I'm just going to take that tuck in the middle like so and then bring these two tails together down here, and what it does is, is kind of point at the back, and I want to push that in, okay? So I push that at the base, and then I'm just going to pull it out here with my fingers, just kind of, so it makes kind of a tear, tear, a, a teardrop, you know, leaf, leaf shape with a tail, now where I've squished it, okay? So we're going to do that again so you can see it, all right? So one tuck here in the middle, then I'm going to bring these guys, these tails together down here and this back I'm going to push. Everyone see that all right? Hopefully. I know it's white. 
And then I just kind of pull these out and squeeze this together. And then we, we have those. Those are kind of important so that we can attach, we can attach these sides together. And what you want to do is you want to make six of those. Actually, I already did a couple. Or however many you want. It's your flower. You can do five, six, four, whatever. It's a fantasy flower. Okay. And I attach them in groups of three if I'm doing six petals just because it's easier to handle. And see, so I've already got one here. Unfortunately, I did it earlier and it's already, gosh, only a half hour earlier and it's already firmed up. So I did it in groups of three and then add those three to these three. Make sure you get a little water there to join it. If they've dried, you may have to use um, gum glue, which is just Basically, you could take gum arabic and water together, or you can take some of this fondant and water it down to make a glue out of it. But we'll be fine with water. They're not that dry. Okay? So there, whoops, I cracked that petal. But there you can see you get kind of a flower. Here I have one already done up, but this is a big one. This was a three inch one, three inch square. Okay? Just put it together. You're eventually going to cut this part, this tail off. Now, once you get them together, you can cut that off. And then you just sit it in this little flower former guy and let it dry.